it's basically like the most complicated board game in the world with my mum. It's like <laughs> you're trying to work out which slot to fill and you get one fixed and then you have to go over to that bit. So I care for my mum who has um, diabetes and a lot of um, mental health issues and my younger sister who suffers from depression. We are adults because we've had to grow up. We, we've had to become the adult where our parent might actually have to become the child. So we should be listened to. I've cared for my mother since I was about 10, so we're about 10 years or so. Not only is my mum dependent on me, but my, my father and my two brothers. She's meant to be helping us in her eyes, but we're happy to help back because she does. Like, in the times where she's being all right, she is absolutely lovely and really helpful. I care for my mum, who, well, partially care for my mum, who has got bipolar, and for my younger brother, who has got severe autism. It's a huge responsibility on a young person. Um, the health problems that you have with stress um, and the pain you go through, just seeing the one you love in, in that situation is the hardest to see. Obviously caring for my mum, I have to keep an eye on her all the time because she gets really suicidal. And then um, if that happens, I'm worrying about my sister because she's doing her exams and she will self-harm. And my brother will just go missing for days. And I'm trying to manage all that whilst having these seizures and being at school and trying to have friends. And so it can get a bit too much for me. And it did. At one point, I ended up having to leave school and I had like a bit of a breakdown. So I think I didn't have enough support around me to sort of know what to do with all the stress and things. So. I haven't had a great experience with anyone else who has tried to help and I believe really that there should be more people or at least if there is the people they should make themselves more known to people like through schools or whatever ways they can so they can help out people at a younger age so they understand. When I was younger I didn't know I was a carer until like I used to have a lot of time off because my mum was ill and um, my friends would go why were you off and I'd go oh well my mum was ill yesterday and they'd go why did you have to stay home because your mum's ill and I was like in year eight. And I was like, well, don't you? <laughs> and then it kind of got brought to my attention that that's not exactly normal, you know. My mother was very ill. She was hallucinating quite heavily and um, she was becoming to lash out due to the hallucinations, the alcohol. And I wanted her to be mentally assessed. Uh, but I was only 17. And I went in there to ask, could I see someone? And they said, would well, you have an adult with you? They wouldn't talk to me until they realised I was the only one to talk to. But they were not happy to do with it because I was only 17, not an adult. I was never allowed in, if you get me. I used to go, the family used to go together. We used to wait, do it and then go. I, I mean, I get the whole, you know, I was a child and stuff, but I was like 17, 16 at the time. And I already knew this stuff happened. I saw it firsthand. So I don't see what they were protecting me from. They were kind of causing more damage than they were stopping. I, I did feel excluded. I feel that they, they thought that I had no idea what was going on, even though they didn't live there, I did. That they thought that they knew better. They knew that I would probably just sit at my computer desk and not see what was going on. And I'm oblivious to it, but I, I wasn't. And that really did upset me because after that, talking to a doctor would make me so angry because it would be that assumption that he just didn't want anything to do with me. I've always wanted to go to university. I have a dead plan on what I'm going to do. So I'm going back to do an access course, hopefully. That'll take a year and then I'll go to university and I want to study psychology with criminology and then I want to be a victim support worker. My plans for my own personal life is maybe one day my mum will kick the drink and will be able to stand firmly on two feet so I can move on and hopefully maybe one day, you know, get a firm job, get my own house and make my own family and life. I've done some work as a, um, a plasterer, and as a builder, and I'm planning on completing my um, NVQ and going off and find myself a job doing that. I believe for the most part, it should be cool. I think it should be all right. I might have to go back a little bit and like sort out some of the bigger problems, but normal day-to-day, -day, it's okay-ish for the moment. You're caring for the one you love.
there's nothing more you can do, is there? You just love them.